No animals were harmed in the making of this video. That hurt? Unfortunately, the same cannot be said for these films. Butterball, you're the strongest. I'm gonna need you to give it all you got, big fella. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies that allegedly harmed animals. For this list, we're looking at movies and documentaries where filmmakers were thought to have harmed animals and which were instrumental in forcing subsequent changes to standards and laws regarding animal safety on movie sets. I do not feel I can condone such a question. We're only considering scenes that were staged by the crew for the camera, so movies like The Cove won't make the cut. And as a heads up, this list might disturb sensitive viewers. Number 10, White Wilderness. It's a story both true and false, as we shall see in a moment. An Oscar-winning documentary from the House of Mouse, White Wilderness follows the lives of cute and cuddly Arctic animals. Their frenzy takes them tumbling down the terrace pits, creating tiny avalanches of sliding soil and rock. So what's a documentary doing on our list? Well, it features a shocking scene of lemming suicide. Only the whole thing was faked by Disney. This is the last chance to turn back. Yet over they go, casting themselves bodily out into space. Lemmings don't really hurl themselves into the sea, at least not the specific species featured here. So director James Algar helped them along. Using a turntable to fake the migration scene, the crew forced the little guys to jump off the cliffs and tumble down to their watery doom. Number 9. The Adventures of Milo and Otis. Oh, Milo, his mother said, look at you. Are you all right? Yes. Milo meowed. Whether you're watching the Japanese original or the modified English version, the controversy raised by the reported animal cruelty on the set of this comedy drama remains the same. Milo was all right, except for being wet. The Adventures of Milo and Otis may have been a box office hit in its native country and earned positive reviews in the U.S., but various animal rights organizations and movie watchers still brought up concerns surrounding reports that multiple animals had either been killed or abused for the film. Suddenly, Otis started swimming away and said to himself, What am I doing? That bear is ten times my size. Though several humane societies have associated themselves with the adventure flick, the American Humane Association has never been able to confirm or deny the animal cruelty rumors. So perhaps you should watch the film and decide what you believe for yourself. Are you all right? Otis asked. You have no idea what I've been through. Bears, snakes, even seagulls. Number eight, Cannibal Holocaust. <laughs> Here's a movie that's not for the faint of heart. <laughs> Cannibal Holocaust follows a group of unscrupulous filmmakers who end up angering the wrong bunch of natives. Gotta get the film back home, Alan! Get to the film! Get to the film! This movie was so violent that director Ruggiero Deodato was tried for making a snuff film. But while all the human actors escaped unscathed, the animal cast members weren't so lucky. A turtle is dismembered, a monkey is beheaded, and that's not counting the pig, snake, spider, and Cody Mundi that are harmed. It's unbelievable. It's, it's horrible. In other words, this isn't exactly a family film. I want this material burned. All of it. Number seven, Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. Director Sam Peckinpah wasn't exactly an animal rights activist. In his 1969 classic, The Wild Bunch, he tortured quite a few bugs to death. But things got worse during Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. In this iconoclastic western, the kid sharpens his six-shooting skills by firing at live chickens buried in the sand. Peckinpah actually blew their heads off using explosive squibs, and that's after an assistant sprayed lighter fluid in their eyes to keep the birds from falling asleep. 
Hello, Bill. It's pretty fair shooting for an old married man. Number six, Andre Rublev. While it's a classic of Russian cinema, Andre Rublev isn't PETA approved. When a Tatar army invades a medieval town, they kill everybody, including the livestock. In this distressing scene, director Andre Tarkovsky coated a cow in asbestos and set it on fire. While the cow was unharmed, this poor horse wasn't so lucky. Purchased from a slaughterhouse, the horse was shot in the neck, pushed down a flight of stairs, and finally stabbed with a spear, all in the name of art. Number five, the charge of the light brigade. One of the lead horses at the supply cart has broken a leg, sir. Loosely based on real events, this cinematic spectacle features loads of romance, adventure, and dead horses. Oh, well, you know what to do. Carry on. In the film's climactic battle, screen legend Errol Flynn leads a cavalry charge against an overwhelming number of rebels. And things don't end well, especially for the animals. Using a special tripwire called the Running W, filmmakers killed at least two dozen horses and even one rider. Fortunately, Congress was so outraged, it banned the Running W and implemented new laws on how movie makers could treat animals. Number four. Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ. Horses had it rough in old Hollywood, especially the ones in Ben-Hur. Thanks to second unit director B. Reeves Easton, a man infamous for his disregard of safety, up to 100 horses were killed during the epic chariot race. Horses that didn't die in accidents were shot when injured, even if they only had a limp. Topping things off, a stuntman died during filming, so it probably won't come as a surprise that Easton was the same man responsible for the charge of the Light Brigade. Number three, The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. Uh, 30 white horses on a red hill. Middle Earth isn't safe for hobbits or elves, but it's downright dangerous for barnyard animals. Peter Jackson's trilogy is full of horses, sheep, and goats, and while none was harmed on screen, he's a gentle soul who prefers the company of animals to others. Twenty-seven tragically died off camera. I don't like horse. I never have. When they weren't on set, the animals were kept on a New Zealand ranch, riddled with hidden dangers. There's something very big, and possibly quite dangerous. Horses tore their legs on jagged fences. Chickens were attacked by hungry dogs, and a pony broke its back after tumbling down a cliff. The misty mountains cold. We are sure Radagast the Brown would have been horrified. It is the shadow of an ancient horror. Number two, Jesse James. I told Pinky to get your horses ready. Largely forgotten, this western was a milestone in the history of animal rights. Well, let's load him on a horse and take him to town. Pursued by a posse, Frank and Jesse James leap off a cliff into a roaring river, but things didn't end well for Jesse's faithful steed. Hold on. Now hold tight, Jesse, because there's only one way out of here. The film crew covered the horse's eyes so it couldn't see the drop and tricked it into jumping 75 feet, a fall it didn't survive. The stunt sparked nationwide outrage, giving rise to the American Humane Association's involvement in Hollywood and their famous no animals were harmed catchphrase. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable, or in this case, dishonorable, mentions. One of them did not submit to this all too soothing power of habit. I love her so much, I beat it with a whip and she never get tired. Uh, your wife? No, my horse. You know what, I, I, I can't right now. I'm feeding the giraffe. She's eating carrots. Number one, Heaven's Gate. Michael Cimino's much-hated Western is the grisliest film in cinematic history. 
for animals anyway. Roosters were forced to fight each other. And cows were sliced open so their intestines could serve as props. Horses were bled from the neck to provide extra gore. And one was reportedly blown up with dynamite. Cimino refused to let the American Humane Association on set, but after his film flopped, new rules were set in place that required the AHA to be present whenever an animal is on a film set. These men are under arrest by military authority. Do you agree with our list? What do you think is the worst movie that's harmed animals? For more eye-opening top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.